Uh, my first reaction was that it was a wonderful rags to riches story. You know, it was almost fairy tale esque. And um, I read the book, and there were moments that were really heartbreaking. And from uh, those low points in Joe's life to reach the euphoria that he did uh, was really compelling. And I was blown away by the story. Well, we meet Joe Rance at 19 years old, and he's about to start university, which is uh, a miracle to begin with because he's homeless, he lives in a car. He's been abandoned by his dad when he was 14. His mother died when he was three. Uh, he's been fighting his whole life, and he's at this point where he's doing something really incredible. And he finds rowing because he needs to make some money to stay in university. He needs to pay for his tuition. And he, um, he just initially rows as a job, as a way to stay in school, but finds this, this thing that's bigger than him. For the first time in his life, he's found something that's more important than himself. He's wounded. He's a wounded individual. And he's used to being wounded. He's used to being abandoned. He's used to being alone. He's used to dealing with things in a very um, quiet way. And that's part of the struggle for him in uh, being part of a team and being responsible for eight other guys uh, and being responsible for the boat rather than just himself. He has to learn to become a team player. And that's, you know, on a soul level, that's the thing that is so beautiful for Joe, that he, um, he understands that, he learns, he learns what that means and he grows. Up until, up until the Poughkeepsie race, Joe's just doing it, he's going through the motions. It's only when he's really forced to look into the mirror, Albrechtson kicks him out of the boat because his head's spinning and he's not concentrating, he's not being a team member. Albrechtson kicks him out of the boat and in that moment he realises he's got a choice and can he face up to it, can he take responsibility, can he be part of a team or is he going to do the same thing as he's always done and retreat and hide and um, he makes the decision in that moment to take responsibility. And once he takes responsibility for his part in the boat and the boat itself, he, he becomes a leader and he becomes um, someone that the other guys can look to and rely on. And he enjoys it. Coach Albrechtson was an extremely uh, um, stoic, shadowy figure to the boys up until they get into the, they get selected to be in the boat. He's sort of uh, uh, hidden away and this godlike figure to everyone. Um, and what's really brilliant is the way that Joel plays it, um, but also, you know, he dressed incredibly well. So what Jenny Egan's done with him adds to that. Um, and Martin shot him, there's a lot of silhouettes of him and it becomes sort of this really shadowy figure. Uh, which is cool. Um, but they don't get to know him as a man until much later. Joyce is someone that Joe used to ride the bus with to school. And once he learned the banjo, he would play songs to her and make her laugh and do anything for her attention. And when his family left him, he, she moved away as well, simultaneously, and they didn't see each other for a few years until they come back to university. And there she is. Uh, and she comes bounding over and says, I know who you are. Um, and it's the, it's the childhood sweetheart. It's the girl that he loved from the, the early days. And uh, she helps him a lot because she's stable. She's a stable person. And he's never had that in his life. It's, I guess that's what all of these people are, they're stable people for him to 
learn how to walk again. February the 1st was our first day of training for rowing and we were awful and none of us knew what we were doing to the point where now we push our, ourselves and push each other um, to drive the rate up and to go as fast as we can and we're all incredibly proud of, of each other um, because of that. Uh, and we really did go through it. I mean, lots of arguments. Jack and I actually are the ones that argue the most because he sits in the eight, I'm in the seven, and you know the cox is in front of him, and so he, he, we can't see anything, and we're trying to work out. He drives the boat, basically, the speed of the boat, and he's, you know, we go at each other a lot, um, and we enjoy it. Uh, so to the point where we're, from the beginning, where we couldn't do it to now, it's extraordinary. Like, what we've been able to achieve has, has blown my mind. I didn't think we'd be able to do that. To be lifted up in the way that we have felt it has been incredible. And the story, the uh, rags to riches almost doesn't do it justice, you know. The, what these guys go through, like you say, where they've come from, most of these guys have a pot to piss in and they have to, they have to find it from somewhere to, to, to achieve what they achieved. Um, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful story. And, there's loads of things. I was actually talking about the, the Jubilee weekend that we had here the other day, and it was so nice to see everyone together and everyone, and it's such a rarity. And that's what this film does. It brings people together and they achieve something extraordinary against all odds. Uh, Hadley Robinson's incredible. She brings a, a, a beautiful energy and um, really grounded and truthful in moments that our moments are uh, are really beautiful because of the way that she plays them and because of the truth that she brings and uh, her choice is, is really wonderful. He's an incredible actor. It's one of the best, as far as I'm concerned. Someone that I look at him and I think the, the jobs that he does and the way he acts is, is how I want to do it, you know? It's really, uh, it's, it's wonderful what he does. And um, it's just a beast. He's a pure beast. And he, 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 he makes Ulrichson really human, you know? It's uh, a lot of the stuff that, you know, it's, it's giving instructions or giving uh, uh, orders to the boys or setting out the rules, but he makes them so genuine. You live in that moment. Well, they're just amazing guys, first and foremost. They're just really chilled. Nothing's a bother. They've been there, they've done it, they've seen it. And you feel very safe immediately to be yourself, you know, and that's an important thing. You feel part of the team, you feel part of the, the creative decisions. You know, there's never a no, there's a maybe and let's have a look at it. Um, and I love them both, they're amazing. I've had such a nice time. Everyone on this set's happy and that's because of those guys. They set the tone as, al as always the top down and everyone's just thrilled to bits to be here. Um, and then to be directed by George, I'm learning from a master, ultimately. I mean, I could beat around the bush, but I'm learning from someone that, that, that has done this for a while and, and has done it really incredibly well. And I'm learning, I'm learning, learning, I'm learning. And, and uh, I made the decision very early doors to be like, I commit to you, whatever you think, let's go and I'll try to find within that, within the boundaries you give me. And yeah, it's been great, it's been a really wonderful, beautiful experience. Everyone loves an underdog story because I believe most people in the world are an underdog and 
we can align ourselves with these heroes as they go through their journey and they achieve the unthinkable. And that's what these guys do, ultimately. And um, at every point in their journey, they're doubted and they're pushed and they're prodded and they're told they can't do it. But they all have, with this belief from Albrechtson, a through line in which they, they deep down know that they can, they can do something incredible and they do it.